Da 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 Turn sound. Okay. Oh shit. Ah shit. Uh, I am a consummate professional. There you go. Did that? Well, I'll figure that out later. I'll figure it out later. It's fine. Ugh. <sighs> I don't remember what I was doing when I last played this, so this is going to be interesting. Take a look at this. Okay. Scout ship setting set. I guess I'll just keep sending you out to different places, but what was I doing? Uh... Right, I needed to break into the temple. Now I remember. The guards are all Malakim. They really do keep humans away from here. But why build a new temple out here? The Shepherd could build in the capital just as easily. This place... You feel it too? There's... powerful energy flowing underground. Right. This is a focal point of the Earth Pulse. The natural energy of the land. The, Earth Pulse. the perfect spot to worship Enominat. Hmm. <laughs> Or to attack him. What? Oh, she wants to kill God. Of course. I thought I ordered no one to enter. F forgive me. I would not have intruded, but there was an incident at the villa in Logres. Eleanor, where are your Malachim? They got eaten. They... they were eaten by the left arm of a demon. Velvet. What? You know of her? She was a student of mine. So she has bested Oscar, Teresa, and now... Heck yeah, we did. Lord Artorius, I ask that you grant me fresh Malachim. I vow to destroy that demon. You are overcome with emotion. Will you fight a demon with your hatred? Please, I beg you to forgive my foolishness. She broke the resolve of even an exemplary disciple like you. Yeah, I'm gonna break you, you big bitch. My lord, if I may, there is but one thing I must ask. Why is there a giant demon held captive at the villa? Entry to that place is forbidden to all but legates, Eleanor. He was restrained by a Moloch barrier. How could such a monstrous thing like that be held in the capital? Eleanor. Oh god. Why is it you think that birds fly? Oh god. Huh? It's... so... They can hunt and catch prey, is it not? <laughs> you are dismissed. That knowledge is not for you. Uh. 
Hmm. So Velvet is coming. I mean, you should have seen this coming, Mike. The ties that bind us must at last be severed. I mean, you probably should have guessed she'd be a little bit angry at you. Hmm. Our fighter doesn't seem to be hiding anywhere nearby. I sensed him rush away with great speed! Zavi the Whirlwind, huh? He was tough. He seemed to know Eifried, too. What's the story there? I don't know. Ask him. He used a pendulum as a weapon. When we first met Aizen, he said something about a pendulum, didn't he? It was the only clue he had in his search for Eifried. I'm surprised at how far he's come on something so vague. Does Savid have something to do with Eifried's disappearance? I don't think this Savid is a killer. I didn't feel it in him at all. I have a feeling we might cross paths again. He is tangled with the Abbey somehow. He didn't seem that bad to me. He yeah, seemed like he a, seems like a guy character. would be hard to hate. Hate him or not, if he gets in our way. He's in for a beating. Now that's what a killer looks like. Yeah, he seems like someone who who may in fact join a party in the near future. Oh, uh, over there. Nice. <laughs> Hmm. Stop fooling around. But I'm oh. serious about my fooling around. Weirdly easy. I guess you get rid of the door. What was that? Some sort of contrivance using Moloch arts. Probably part of their security system, I'd say. Obviously. We should keep our eyes open for any more surprises. Ah, well. Okay, so there's a... I guess I need to go up those? What are these? Not the orbs, like just this direction in general. Oh, over here. <laughs> I think this is more gear that I've already got as well. That's a ladder. Hmm. That is just a ladder. And there's another one. improve by so I assume that's the front entrance back there or do I need to take the lantern I'm really not sure oh 
Äh. Oh, hat er. Nein, das ist der Gola. Ja. That's ridiculous and I hate it. Wow, I hate him. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Well, that about does it. More boots. Spent ages wanting boots, and now I finally got more than I want. Beautiful. Hmm. Is there anything actually up here? Oh, yeah, there is. Cool. Come on. Come up here for a reason. No, a big thing probably. Uh, enjoying the hack and slash. Yeah, I mean, it's not really hack and slash. It's a, uh, it's a nicer combo system. Than some of the uh, hell games have, but like I said, it's not hack and slash. It's not exactly a combo pack for We're finished here. Let's go. Yeah, she doesn't wear a lot. She is quite scantily clad. That down. Time to dish out spanking. <laughs> I mean, you say that, but that's like, like the main character. Really? Yes, yes, I know. I'm incredible. Oh, 
all sort of shiny up here. Oh. Ah, fuck it. Do we make a shit that seems... I mean... This is not a team blame game, buddy. It's a JRPG. It's a... You just get the characters. It doesn't really work like that. Yeah, you, you don't need like buy characters or anything, buddy. It's uh, just. They're all characters. They have plots. Uh, this is it. Yes, you have back swords, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm not sure you've seen the others, but Velvet is a back thing. got a sad pirate, sad samurai. All kind of sad. Oh shit. screen the second point is the big numbers on the screen yeah basically numbers go up Yeah, I don't think you're one of the tough. 
It's uh, more than just a number. Going up the writing in this is really good. Legitimately. Okay, so where's the next fucking key thing up there? I don't know what that is. Oh, it was, yeah, it was open. Okay. This is just the extra arrow. Really? Oh, yeah, I, I can see that from the map. Okay. You mean blind? Item, more orb. Mm. What's up over here? I knew it. Ignatius. Turn around at least. Chase me over here. Really? You're just gonna fuck off that way? There we go. You better be ready. How is it now, Aizen? Hmm. I feel
feel like whatever you did caused some sort of change. Yeah, the door's Let's open. just pray they can't change it back anytime soon. I'll pass on the praying. I've come here to make a mess of this temple, remember? Ooh, you've got spunk. I like that. As long as you know what you're doing, then. She likes the spunk. That was a low blow. That was just a low hanging fruit. I'm above that. I'm better than that, rather. I'm not above it. I'll end this quickly. <laughs> I won't him. I'm definitely not above it. But I am better than it. Okay, so. You need a new waistcoat. Uh, out sight. That'll do. And you need new boots. Burning dash. You need new boots. You need a new waistcoat. And you need new daggers. Have no new earrings for you. New pendant. New ring. New bracelet. Take a look. This recipe looks. Bring it to his basic training. Uh, Scout yeah. ship. What are you doing on the food, actually? You're level five now. Three. This, this is recipe I'm, I'm choosing. These are her personal skills. Hmm. It's all one star recipes. Up there. Must be. Oh. oh God, I'm tired. I don't think this is gonna be a long one today. I am very sleepy. I'm going all about that for two random pickups. I am waiting for this to be like a big wake up call boss that just destroys me. Like here, fight uh, Autorius, and then just have him wreck my fucking face. Are these ones dead ends? I think so. Shredder. We're not the Toidles. You know, best impression of Pac Man. And let's light them on the central staircase. I recognize this is exactly the uh, most tight uh, series I've done. I'm saying I'll probably some of you can off stream right Velvet, on. what is Artorius's method of fighting? Staff sword thing. He Dirty. wields a long sword in his left hand. And he once had a mullet named Ceres who used fire. Had. But I killed her. And since then, he's tethered a new mullet called Enominat to use in her place? As far as I know, yes. But I can't imagine a new Moloch will work with him as well as Ceres did. Must be pleasant to always assume the best. If I'm wrong, that's where all of you come in. 
The four of you will strain his tether to the Moloch. Then I'll chew through it. At which point Artorius becomes nothing more than a simple human. Yeah. But how will you get close to him Don't in the think first place? The plan's gonna go that way. He'll use Lafayette's arts. He will cut me. He will burn me. And I will keep charging forward. Your job is to keep healing me so that I can stay on my feet. A sacrificial assault, then. Oh, it's not a bad skills. plan. Nice. There's a good chance you'll catch him off guard. If you don't immediately die. But, but, Velvet, you'll... That's an order. Oh. No. All right. So in the end, you're still just a tool to her. Bet that hurts. Yeah, it's kind of oh. fucked up. can't say. Perhaps she's not thinking at all. No, she said something about him killing someone. She said it during his speech, right? I heard her too. She has some feud with Artorias. Her hate for him flows deep. I wonder what her connection to Lord Artorias is. Don't call him Lord. Trust me. What? You'll understand when the time comes. If she's still alive to face Artorias, that is. Precisely. The fires of her hatred are all-consuming. Who will they burn in the end? Hmm? <gasps> it's a dangerous path we walk, but a debt is a debt. Come along, Lafayette. Okay. You... I can't believe they're just... He's here. Chill or very shitty. Sometimes. Um... Side bits. Okay. Well, the side bits down here. You look like you should have a key thing on you. A little bit, you don't. Yeah, this is just a corridor and then a boss fight. Oof. This definitely feels like an ass kicking boss. Demons and Malachim. Unlikely companions to say the least. Sirius is here too. In my stomach. So you chose to be a mother bird, Sirius. Things will be different this time. Business. I will have my revenge. Revenge for Lafayette! Very well. It is time. Oh, he's got, this is gonna hurt. <laughs> so this is the shepherd's style. Boy, howdy, are we dead? But he has no molecule. Remember the plan. Right. Oh, I'm doing no zero. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah. Oh. Mm. Somehow I don't think I'm meant to be able to do this. 
I guess it's gonna be a case of fighting until there's his Mr. Guard or something. Um, uh, this is definitely fighting until he does his Mr. Guard. Yeah, here we go. Kill me to the sword. The fourth maxim. I mean, what did you warn him? Never let your guard down, even when victorious. I will not let you win so easily. I will use my full strength, as is just and proper. Yeah, but you're not, though. Aid me, in Nominati. There we go. Is it really? That is cheating! What fucking wounds? We did like 2,000 damage to him. I remember you. That night. That terrible night. Ugh. More. More healing. You won't escape this time. Oh, these losers. I beg your pardon, Lord Artorius. I had assumed Master Shigure was attending you. The failure is mine. Oh. Shigure is out training. Besides, that man would like to see my blood spilled more than anyone. Same as ever. Eh, he thinks only of himself. Look what happened with Ifrid. So you are Melchior. No, Artorius. The one who most wants to spill your blood is me! Master Artorius, allow me to quiet this demon. I mean, <laughs> you only really lost to us like twice. Out of my way! Learn your place, you abominable demon! Why? Doesn't it hurt? Aren't you in pain? Why, Velvet? Why do you go on fighting? Eight. Because... Revenge. Luffy sent me so much more pain than I ever will. And still, I... I couldn't do anything for him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Velvet. Oh, the Cry Baby is totally going to turn Jada straight on him. Number two, your punishment must be severe. Kill the demon, then end your own life. No. Have you forgotten our pact? Your mistress is giving you an order. Oh, that's like her. I'm sick of your orders. I, I. What's everyone else doing right now? I don't want to die. 
sister. Oh. Prokuro, into the portal. Right. Hey, don't forget me. You cannot escape. Ha ha. Hmm. through. You know me not power reacting with the earth pulse. Extraordinary. I begin to see. I fucking don't. Still, died. giving your brother's name to a Moloch. You've strayed so far. I have no idea what's going on. Velvet, wake up. Who the fuck are you? Oh, just let me sleep a little more, Selica. Oh, you're Selica. You rascal. Don't you remember the task I entrusted you with? The task? Yes. I asked you to take care of him. <laughs> so, uh, uh -oh. I thought it was Saras. Sarah. Saras? I've already forgotten her name. Where am I? Did they... kill me? My wounds are gone. Am I dead? Am I in hell? Why are Dragophage bugs eating Lavisat? Bad fever. Oh no, he's going to die too! Uh, please... don't die... Velvet... You saved my life. Now it's my turn to save you. Is she going to chill out for a bit now? Who? Is... Uh, is this how I'm gonna play it? With a... First, we've got to get out of here. See, the music's going, but I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to fight carrying a child. I assume the child disappears for combat. Uh... Is it just a straight run through with dramatic music? I guess so? What is the point of all these extra areas if there's nothing Just on hang any in there, of them? Said. Hmm. Very confused by this. Back here. Nope, just extra map for no reason. Hmm. How what? It should be around here somewhere. I feel like there should be something more happening. It's just. So, is there actually anything around here? Or. No, it's just empty, empty zone. Yeah, the, uh, his dress thing doesn't really help matters there. Robes, whatever you call it. Uh, crap. Which way 
do we go now? Uh, I mean, like, I feel like the one marked exit would be the way out. Set me. Oh, it has. Why? No, it hasn't. Where is this place anyway? I was just wanting to run in circles until I finish it. I don't know. This is a silly zone. Stop screaming. Thank you. Exit. What the hell is this place? It's an Earth Pulse. That explains nothing. So you survived. Let's not count our blessings just yet. It looks like we've been sealed inside. But at least we're still alive. Can't say the same would be true if we stayed in that place. An Earth Pulse. So that's what this is. Yeah. It's like a river flowing with nature's life oh. energy. Earth pulses can be found all over the world, but normally you can't see or interact with them. Then how'd we wind up inside one? When Inominat and Lafayette's power collided, the shock must have torn it open. If that's the case, it's possible that Lafayette possesses the power to return us home, but... Uh. He can't do much in this state. He's liable to turn into a demon any moment now. Don't talk like that. Is this because he overused his powers? It's not too late to stop it. If a Moloch occupies a pure vessel, he can be prevented from transforming into a demon. What's that fucking mean? Even you. This lucky coin is my vessel. There's a catch to this one, though. It can only serve as a vessel for someone with the Reaper's powers. Uh, I feel like I'm missing something with this no information. An exorcist would work. We offer our own bodies as vessels for Malachim. So that we can use them for the Abbey's purposes. I volunteer to serve as your Moloch's vessel. Why would we trust you? I see. So we just need your body with us, not your legs. Pretty much. Not one step closer. I'll kill myself before you lay a hand on me. The Moloch will become a demon, and you'll be stuck here forever. You don't mince words, do you? This is so... Know your foes and strike where they're weak. The basis of all combat. As cowardly as I'd expect from a disciple of Artorius. No, this is personal. Once I regain my exorcist powers, I vow to challenge you, Demon Velvet! If I lose, I'll do whatever you wish. If you want me to die or to become a vessel, so be it. <laughs> uh, uh, Velvet, don't die. It sounds like a lot's happening, but yes, but hmm. fine. So we're just gonna trust her. The little peepers want freedom. What's the Moloch's name? Normally, it is decided by their masters, but since I do not own him yet, I need to know. He's not a thing to be owned. He's Lafayette. <laughs> Lafayette. I see. We are out here just talking about people at the property. Oh, child of the fountain of creation. These vows we exchange. May our purpose, resplendent, help to purify this cursed world. Remember this true name I bestow unto you. Such... such power!
How the hell did we end up here? What's going on? That little brat. He actually unsealed the Earth Pulse? What was that? Oh, she knows what's going on. Yes, this is the end of the Velvet World Tour Revengeathon. What an anticlimax. Not that I really care either way. We don't know that she's dead. Dead or alive, she's done. No way she'd keep going after seeing how outmatched she is. Bet you ten gold that I'm right. Ten gold? You're on. <laughs> Magalu immediately loses 10 gold. What in the... Luffy said, what did that exorcist do? Oh. <laughs> what happened to you? Luffy's has been kidnapped again. Oh boy. I see. So that exorcist woman pledged herself as Luffy Set's vessel? Where did she head off to then? If you two wound up here, then odds are that exorcist has appeared somewhere nearby. Then we'll find her. Sheesh, are you never not worked up about something? I said I would save him, so I will. Besides, his power is just what I need. Don't you forget our little wager now, all right? My darling Ted and Gold, murdered in his crib by a thug! <laughs> ah, the melodrama, I love it. I won't let her get away from me. What am I? Bold ruins. We've got an edifice. Okay, it's just cool lighting. Ah. Do my best sonic compression there. This is just another absolute nothing zone. Release the bigger ones! Release the horde! Loktar Ogar! Ready to fight. ready to die? Think you can dodge? Just try. want some We're finished here. Let's go. Hey, the Duratar proved that a horde can be six people. Oh no, a dead end! And so the adventure came to a close in a most sudden and unsatisfying manner! 
Look, that wall is cracked. Yeah, I that have a feeling that I can kick through it. This is the tortoise right at the start to pick down boulders. Scout ship. Uh, okay, so there's one special thing that I'm missing. So exorcists are actually the vessels for their Malachim. You can do that too, can't you, Mogulu? Of course! This fair maiden has won the Malachim's Choice Award, Most Desirable Ooh. Vessel, three years running! Oh? Then you wouldn't mind replacing Eleanor as Lafayette's vessel, I hope. Thanks! But no thanks. I have my hands full dealing with Bienfu as it is. If I ate Bienfu, you'd have room. <laughs> <laughs> Still wouldn't work, kiddo. You saw it with your own eyes. Even if only for an instant, that kid actually held his own against the power of Inominat. Not even the resplendent Magilu can handle something of that power. Indeed. After everything we've seen, it's obvious there's more to Lafayette than Chosen meets the one. eye. Yeah, but that Eleanor woman was still able to become his vessel. That's because, unlike Miss Magilu, Madam Eleanor actually tried! Anyway, we need to find her and beat her. She'll just bring us more trouble the longer she's out there. Oh, we'll find her. No doubt about it. Yeah, she kidnapped our kidnapped child. This looks like some kind of ruin. Where are we? Judging from the style of the walls and columns, I'd say this place is an ancient underground temple of Eumacia. Eumacia, the Empyrean of Earth. So it was by no coincidence that the Earth Pulse led us here. How did the temple builders know where to dig to connect to an Earth Pulse? Did they just get lucky? Just wham, there it is? An Earth Pulse doesn't work that way. It's a flow of natural force ordinary humans can't sense. But in those days, there were more humans capable of sensing that which others couldn't. It was people like that who guided the rest to build their temples closer to the Earth Pulses, closer to their gods. Uh-huh. So, since Empyreans control the forces of nature, people viewed the Earth Pulses as embodiments of the gods themselves. Is that it? Right. In the time when Empyrean worship was at its peak, temples History like this lesson. were built all over. And I'm guessing they all looked pretty similar, so until we go outside, we're no closer to knowing where we are. That sums it up. Hmm. I wonder if they found any high-quality ore when they dug this hole. You know, for making swords. <sighs> I don't know why I bother explaining anything to you. You know, I'm starting to think you just enjoy it. <sighs> I mean, you'd be wrong. 
Toidles! Ah! You guys again? Well, look who set up shop here. You couldn't have shown up at a better time. We need more supplies. I'm happy to help you all. But this time, I really, really needs to charge a little extra. How much extra are we talking here? Ooh, you haven't heard the stories, little turtles. Word has it, there's a spooky monster that's been eating traveling merchants around these parts. <laughs> eating merchants? She takes the shape of a black-haired girl, and when she finds greedy merchants, she gobbles them up head first. Although, if the greedy merchant was a turtle's, I bet she'd start with the crunchy shell. Ah! <laughs> I'm not greedy, I swears it. Look, I have special sales going on. Everything's marked down to normal prices. How generous of you. Magulu, give the nice turtles the smile he lives for. Always a pleasure. <laughs> Much obliged. Oh, toidles. I like the toidles. Uh, so what do I have spares on? Dismantle. And the blade will keep that. Okay, so that's just for those. So what do I actually have here? That is new or not? Let's grab a calcite doll. Some earrings. Bunch of bullshit. Okay, so you need a new ring. Claim will do. Weapons creep me out. And white coats. Wait. Ooh, yeah, I need to swap you around so I can teach you that. You're just a way forward, okay. Uh, I'll try this way first then. Ah, oh, what's everywhere look like progress? On to battle! Skeleton! 
Coins. Thank you for being a dead end. Or not, actually. Uh, it's a bit... Hmm. I do have the capture card. However, Switch Gaming is also uh, on the PS2 that I definitely have, not as an emulator. And that's how we playing the sequels anyway, so... Hmm. I'll have to see. How to set things up. Could be a good excuse for me. <laughs> Goodbye. Goidles! wall again. Uh, oh, there isn't one here. Okay, this is this one actually is just a dead end. Time. 
doing well today though, uh, regardless of this actually quite grindy section. There's really not a whole lot going on. Just lots of tunnel crawling. Take the broken wall. And another broken wall. Okay, that's progress. Found a cats. Got some bangs. <laughs> yeah, as entertaining as this game is to me, uh, play. I'm guessing it's not making the greatest of viewing. Oh, yeah, this is new, 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 new. Right alert. skills. Alright, is that all I came in here for? I think so. I need to reset my uh, cooking. Auto cook. You sure? Do that for a bit. <laughs> Oh. See, that says a cave. I thought that meant I could leave. I get what trying to think what some of these things mean, honestly. It's all nonsense. Are you the exit? Oh, I still know. 
Okay, that top one's definitely the exit. So... Is there anything actually in here? More waistcoats. Like garment. Still, oop. Nope, still no new boots. Okay, I'll do. I did eat, yeah. Um, I actually ate the last of the food that I have in the house, so. I've got a really make myself go grocery shopping tomorrow or I won't be eating again uh, for a while. Which is fine, so I do technically need to uh, go find a post office so I can get these postcards sent off for you guys. The downside being uh, the agoraphobia may actually no longer be a joke, it may actually just be a thing that I have. Um, so Going out shopping has been fun. Air quotes. If it wasn't for, you know, needing actual fresh air and trying to make myself go out and find this post office, I probably would have just said screw it and tried to order groceries online. I thought you'd be long gone. I apologize for disappearing on you. I was there, and then in the next moment, I was gone. Now she wants to fight. And said, He's resting inside me. As far as I can tell, he seems healthy again. Okay, so bring him out with his Pokeball. Your name's Eleanor, right? If I defeat you, you'll be his vessel and follow my orders until the day you die. I accept. But conversely, should you lose, I will take your life. Do you plan on fighting alone? I can handle myself. Oh, that's gonna be a solo fight. Fun. Okay. No, I don't even have any, uh... I see you're not yeah. using Lafisa to help you fight. Of course. This duel is me versus you. <laughs> I'd better uh, not hear any excuses after your defeat then. Gotta can't hydrate right now, but thank you. I'm both using healing items. Ah, oh, now I'm fucking stuck. Ah. Oh, what wow, nice. I'm not doing well with this. Uh, use another apple gel. Yes. Then. Here it comes. Fuck off. Yes. And then fuck off some more. Ah. Uh. like. Do any of my arts actually do like helpful stuff? Done. What do I have 
level are you equipped then? Stun. 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 Stun? Thank you. We're done here. Never let her guard down, even when victorious! <laughs> Why did you stop? I know you can't kill me as long as I'm his vessel. I'm just abiding by the same terms. Had you won, you'd have killed me. True, but a duel is a duel. The Abbey shaped you well. However... <laughs> Don't need a likes. Once your sword is drawn, never waver. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle, right? Lord Artorius's teachings? What a failure I have been. I'll... I'll keep my word. I will follow your orders. To the day I die! Don't! My body... I can't move! How? Since when can a Moloch overpower his own vessel? You cheating hussy. You tried to kill yourself after our deal. Luffy said, are you feeling better now? Y yeah Looks like her body is reacting to the bond. Yeah, I know the drill. She'll get a high fever and stay zonked out for a bit. No biggie. Carrying her will slow us down. We can't afford that risk when we're venturing into parts unknown. Let's rest here until she's recovered then. Stitcher. She's one of us now, isn't she? As long as she's Lafayette's vessel. So she could be a character, but like... That's true. As part of the party, or...? Uh, break charge in battle after guarding. Uh, break charge, guard continuously for two seconds. The next attack is a big stun chance and can't be blocked. Ooh! Oh, nice! Expeditions back. Earned. Oh, I guess it was the red jewel pendant again or something. Come on, I just want that last thing. Hey, Cash. I'll look after Madame Eleanor. You know, I just remembered. After Miss Mogilu and I made our pact, she couldn't stop sneezing and sniffling for months. That happened right when spring was starting. I still hate you, you dumb fuck. A demon, a Moloch, a witch, and now an exorcist. We've turned into a real band of misfits. I didn't have any other choice. We're stuck with her. Yeah, I know. We can't afford to lose Lafayette. Now that we know the full extent of Inominat's strength, we need that boy more than ever. Do you think Inominat really is an Empyrean? You got me, but I do know this. Whatever he is, he's no ordinary Moloch. And the Abbey intends on using that power. 
To what end, I couldn't say. If we're going to win this, we need to uncover Inominat's true nature and the Abbey's secret goals. Indeed. At the very least, I think we can safely assume that Eifried's disappearance is part of their schemes. We might be able to extract some information out of that Eleanor woman as well. Agreed. But no torture. I'm not shattering our only vessel. Yeah, I get that. Given the pact they share, if Eleanor goes down, Lafayette becomes a demon, right? What? No one told me that! That's just how it is between Moloch and Vessel. <laughs> Wait, what? I know she's a threat, but we need to keep her close for oh, the time That's not being. good at all. Well, we sure are in it deep now. That's really not good, then. Ugh. So, where's Maglo? Yeah, that's in the right area. Are you outside, or...? Man, Artorius and Nominat. Neither one of them's a force to be reckoned with. Then why do you look so happy? Because I'm still alive. And if I'm alive, I can fight. Oh, Rogue, Rogue, you simple man. Optimistic. I love you. That's nah, just the sort of demon I am. What about you, though? You gonna call that whole revenge thing off? If only. That's just the sort of demon I'm not. Then we need to find a way to beat them. You can mope after you're dead. We? You're still going to help? Yeah. After all, I wouldn't be here if Lafayette hadn't saved my life. Surely you know me by now. I might not look it, but duty and honor flow through my veins. Oh, you're a big loser and I love you. Mwah. Give you a big kiss on the mouth parts. Uh, where the fuck is everyone? Outside? Uh, over here? What's this? Oh god, this is a fucking zone and a half. Oh, okay. Hey, don't overwork yourself. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? Isn't it obvious? I... I disobeyed you, Velvet. Don't sweat it. I'm still alive, thanks to you. gonna get the collar off this kid. Again, it's getting weird that it's still on him. I just... I didn't want to see you die. Hippity hoppity lapses at his property. why I did that. To save you. I'm sorry too. Acting the way I did. Treating you like an object. When I came with you, that was my own choice. You gave me the freedom to choose. No, we kidnapped you on a boat. Now? We only have more troubles ahead. You're still going to fight, aren't you? Yeah, I can't stop now. Even so, I've made my choice. I'm coming with you. I see. Anyway, it's not like I have any idea where we are now. That's a good point. Ah ha ha! But an object misused is one thing, a person misused is quite another. Here's the shit stir. What's your point? What's your point, is what I want to know. Not only did you blow the whole revenge thing, you didn't even leave a scratch. Do you have any plan on where to go from here? I'll admit it. You know me not to power is far beyond what I could ever have imagined. But I'll never give up. No matter how many times I have to try, I'll devour them all. <sighs> Bet you 100 gold you break first. Huh? You heard me. 100 gold says that you give up. I lost a bet with Rokuro when you had to go and survive. Cost me 10 gold. I'm 
I'm just looking to come out on top. By making shitty little Whatever. bets. Fine. Oh, then it looks like we have a bet. There might be some fun in me sticking around after all. For a hundred gout. Not that I much care how it all turns out. I'm just looking to kill time. How sunder of you. Hey, Velvet. I've got something that might help with Enominot. Oh. Is this that book you took from the villa? It is. Look closely at the crest on the cover. It's the same one from the temple. Does that book say anything about Enominot? Yes. But I can't read it. It's written in the ancient tongue. Oh, don't cry, baby boy. My friend Grimoire might be able to decipher that for you. Really? Well, Grimoire. maybe, maybe not. She'd have to take a look first. Well, where is she? Your friend, I mean. No idea. The last letter I got from her was sent from me salts down in South Gand. Time to go find your friends. Not much to work with here. True, but I'll have fun watching you try. Oh, I'll find her. Don't you worry about that. That's the spirit. Don't give up just yet. Gotta go find a new friend. Find a new friend. Okay, so... Just you guys. <sighs> we'll rest inside these ruins. You're still weak. Hmm. Hearing a fake yawn made me yawn. Ugh. Rest. Of all the things, a damned demon watching over me. How could I have let this happen? I'm such a disgrace. Gonna cry about it. Big cry, baby. To atone for this grave sin. I wouldn't. I really wouldn't. This is all I can do. Forgive me, Lord Artorius. <sighs> Okay. Is this God? This light. It's Melchior's communication art. Oh, that prick. I send Melchior to check out the Earth Pulse. And what a strange sight does he find. My lord, I have failed you. Lift your head, Eleanor. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. A special mission? Ugh. You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. This mission is highly classified and not to be shared with even the Lanes. Ooh, spicy. Protect the Malak and bring him to the capital then? He's keeping him right With the utmost secrecy, your becoming his vessel is in fact quite fortunate. Maybe so. But with me as his vessel, the Moloch may interfere. This Moloch may have his own will, but he can be manipulated. Do whatever it takes to get the job done, Eleanor. You act under my full authorization. Even were it to mean obeying the orders of a demon? But, my lord, what Moloch could possibly be that valuable? Are you saying you cannot? Shame is only a fleeting emotion. It is will and reason that ultimately prevail in the face of calamity. My lord, 
I live to serve the principles of your teachings. In a cult, in a cult, in a cult. The Earth cults will soon close. From here on, you must use your own discretion to execute your mission. A super secret mission. <laughs> we, we were just standing there. <laughs> oh. You're up. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Listen, I'm afraid, we know. Don't try anything like that again. Pain is. Pain is scary, right? I'm alright. No more running away. I'm Lafison. It's good to finally meet you properly, Eleanor. Y yeah, likewise. Don't worry. If you try running, you won't get far. Once I've eaten your arms and legs, I merely need you alive to act as his vessel. Nothing more. That won't be necessary. Gonna, I swore uh, an oath before our duel. She walk her or not. See an oath around. grants power in exchange for a certain constraint. Mine was, if I lose, I will obey my opponent. Once put in motion, an oath cannot be broken by the one who swore it. I will keep my promise to you because I must. Hmm. An oath, is it? In that case, I have a question for you. What does the Abbey plan to do with the Nominat? To wipe out the demons, of course. We want to end the era of disaster once and for all. And how exactly does the Abbey plan on wiping out the demons? Is the Nomenot going to wander the land, slaughtering them all? They... they never told me. And Nomenot's ritual is kept also, confidential even within the Abbey. All I know is that it involves Melchior. Then it looks like the only way we'll figure out Nomenot's true nature is by deciphering Lafayette's book. We'll have to track down Magui's friend, the one who can read the ancient tongue. If we go to East Sultan Southgand, we ought to find some clues to her whereabouts. But first, we have to figure out where we are now. We need to find a settler or a village. Something. <laughs> I'm surprised us chuckleheads even know our own names. Even the greatest <laughs> scholars don't know everything at first. You can't get answers without asking for them. <laughs> Fair enough. Hard to argue with that. I've uh... never seen a mullet quite like him. Eleanor, your job is going to be to protect Lafayette. Or like we don't. brings you into conflict with other exorcists. Because if you turn on me, uh, eat I your know. arms and legs. Like I said, I can't betray you. Listen, Lafayette. If she makes any strange moves, I want you to stop her immediately, okay? I don't think Eleanor is such a bad person. Besides, she's oath bound to her promise. She's lying, obviously. That's only something you do if your life depends on it. Yep. An oath is an art that takes complex rituals and lots of hard work and time. Hardly worth the trouble, to be honest. I told you already. She wants to take you away from us. Women are creatures of deceit, oh. boy. <laughs> oh, God. If you say so. Um. She's right. Of course that goes doubly so for Velvet the Vengeful Villainess. Well, I won't deny it. That was uh, certainly a line. What is it, Luffy said? I was told that women's looks can be deceiving, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to see. Oh, God. That's an age-old problem for men. You with me, Eisen? Aye. Women are fickle creatures at best. Oh, God. They lie as easily as they breathe, and men can never see through their deceptions. <laughs> I totally feel you. <laughs> Sounds what like you've both been fuck? through hard times. <laughs> the wounds women leave on a man's heart take longer to heal than a cut delivered by a sword. Uh, it's that bad? Beware a maiden's tears, boy, and guard yourself well. That's I'm my advice to the, you. We're throwing eyes in the incels. And guard myself. Don't put any weird ideas into Lafayette's head, you two. They're just facts. If you fill his head with any more garbage, I'm eating both uh, of you. I swear yes, every- Yikes. The swordsman and the pirate having troubles with women? 
<laughs> well, women are nothing if not difficult. I've the deepest sympathy for you both. What do you think of the ladies' reactions? Well, Velvet won't eat either of you, and Mogilu didn't seem sympathetic at all. See? Appearances can be deceiving. And it seems you've absorbed the lesson well. Right. I swear. I'm not like that, though. Huh? Mm. Yes, some women use their tears to manipulate others, but not all do. And I, for one, despise such duplicity. The women who did that to Aizen and Rokuro are just the extreme. Yeah, I can see how much you hate dishonesty, Eleanor. <laughs> She's actively <laughs> lying to yeah, us right now. <laughs> we watched her make so a plan. End up like Rokuro and me. I intend to do just that, whether or not you ask it of me. <laughs> Eleanor is a lot stronger than she appears. What she talk? <laughs> Tartarius, make a plan to lie to us and betray us. <laughs> oh, we actively watched to do it. I swear, every one of these games have some variation of this skit where we teach a small person some kind of bad example about relationships. I think Zillia's was my favourite. Big bird. Oh yeah, she's totally just behind me right Huh. Yeah, you're straight up just an entire ass party member. So I'm going to assume then that her betrayal just doesn't go well at some point, or she gives up. And decides not to be a prick. Come on. You better be ready. Oh, you big bitch. Okay, that guard break is fucking stellar. I love it. I don't know who Stephanie Sutherland is. Okay. Can I jump over here? No, not yet. I need to go on the jump skill. <laughs> Fighting with you one at a time isn't worth the trouble. 
Let's get the big XP. The fuck are you? Huh? This stone. It's. It's just a rock. Take it if you want. I think it's really rare. The way it sparkles. I think it might even be bright steel. Bright steel? Never heard of it. Yeah, it's actually a rare metal used to forge weapons and stuff. You don't find it just anywhere. Me thrill. If there's bright oh, steel, here, oh. that means we must be in either end gand or isle gand. Both are a long ways off from mid gand. I doubt the abbey has many people stationed out here. That's our pirate. Are here there be treasures shiny and sentries few. At the Arr. very least, this could mean we'll be left alone for a while. Nice find, Luffy said. Thanks. Now wash your hands. Okay. Uh, uh. With what? Here I come. This is being a beast with uh another witch. We won, right? Yeah, right? we won. The only way to learn where we are. Hmm. What's eating you, Luffy said? If people say you can't judge women at face value, does that mean you can with men? Okay. Sure. Men are simple creatures. Men are simple. Oh! You talk like you're an expert in all things masculine. But you can only speak for your own family. As if you're one to judge. And I'm sure you've charmed a magnificent lord to be your lover. Sure. What does he look like? Is he tall? None of your business. Don't tell me. He was always on the other side of a swinging door, so you only saw his feet? <laughs> I uh. see. What a lovely crush that must be. I read that story. It was a book called The Legs of a Man. Oh? I've never heard of it. I've read it too. It's a sad, bittersweet tale. But I enjoyed it quite a lot. I highly recommend it if you haven't read it. Maybe when I have some free time after killing Artorias. <laughs> <laughs> I just you wanted to know if with... could be judged at face value. It's not often you find bright steel above ground. I hear it's a lot of trouble to unearth, even in the regions it's normally found. Yeah. Mining for minerals takes a lot of specialized techniques and experience on the part of the prospector. They examine the soil, the water, the plants, and so on, where the same mineral was found before. Then search similar environments for the next big find. Sure, but it's not like they succeed every time. It's all a big gamble. Isn't there a simpler way? I read in a book once that you can use a pendulum to find water and metals underground. It's called dousing. What's dousing? You hang the pendulum so it's facing the ground. Then you chant the magic word, Magic Shazam, and wait to be amazed. The little bit of ore on its tip will sniff out buried treasure in underground lakes like a bloodhound on a prickle bore. You don't seriously believe this. Eh, it's just like <sighs> fortune telling. You win some, you lose some. That's why they call it prospecting. So, if pendulums are used for fortune telling, why the hell is Zavid running around using them as weapons? He uses wind to control its trajectory. Maglo is I think a it's massive easier for him pro. to manipulate pendulums in a fight than something like a whip or a rope. Oh, that makes sense now. That seems pretty clever. He's probably also doing it to make himself stronger, too. Malakim broadly fall into four elemental types. Earth, water, wind, and fire. Each strong or weak against the others. Wind beats Earth. Zavid is a wind Malak. So when he obtains Earth element minerals, his own strength is boosted. I never realized Malakim could be so calculating. Then if pendulums react to a Moloch's powers, maybe they can actually do this dousing stuff like Magilu says. Yeah, it's worth taking that thing seriously. Zavid might like to joke around, but when it comes to fighting, he knows full well just what he's doing. He puts an awful lot of thought into that weapon of his, if you ask me. You don't? I spare all my thoughts for my sweetheart. Yeah, right. 
You just like to cause trouble without putting much thought into anything. Yep. Yeah, she does. Pain in the absolute dick. Love her. <laughs> okay, so we got... Nope. Nope. That's the one. You sure you... Move that one for a bit. Come on. On to battle. Oh. Oh. Yes, herbs. Give me the good kush. There we go. I see a person shape. Are you an enemy or are you a person? Ooh, did I get the new thing? Yeah, I got a spyglass. Cool. Scout ship setting. Oh, next one. Then. You there. Got a moment? Gah! Are you guys with the sword breaker? The what? Get, get away from me! I'm sorry, alright? Real class act. Attacking is your apology. <laughs> I'm sorry for attacking you. Mighty demon, I beg you. I'll do anything. Just spare me. I only wanted to ask you something. Dude, you attacked us. You don't have to worry. This woman here is an exorcist. Huh? R right. I'm Eleanor, a Praetor exorcist. Please, remain calm and hear our questions. You do look like an exorcist, but what are you doing with ruffians like these? Top secret Abbey business. That's all I can say. Now, can you tell us where we are? And are there any ports nearby? You don't know? You're on Cadnix Island in Islegate. The port is at the other end of that ravine. I'll send a Sylph Jade to the Von Altia. Thanks. One more question. Who's this sword breaker? Ah, he's a demon. Causes lots of trouble around these parts. He only attacks sword fighters, and he breaks their blades. He's even taken down a number of Praetors. That's like my, my next Hence boss the fight. Name Swordbreaker. Or my next... He wields a fine sword, clearly forged in a foreign oh, yeah, land. I tried to find his lair to steal the weapon for myself, but that's when I was attacked. 
A foreign sword. I'd be careful if I were you. If he spots that sword on your back, <laughs> you'll be in a world of trouble. I'm gonna guess someone like a real Rick nasty knows. fellow. Well, he tries to pull anything on this demon, and he's in for one munchy, crunchy surprise. <laughs> you folks are all crazy. Either way, I'd say this is a blessing in disguise for you. You're lucky to still be alive. Take this chance to abandon your life of crime. <laughs> Why are you assuming he's a criminal? Let's find... Can you read any of this old writing? No. I've studied many languages, but I've never seen script like this before. Can you read it, Eleanor? I've never come across this language either. Where did you find a rare tone like this? Stole it. <laughs> um. Stole it from the church. Well, it was a lucky find at the Capitol. What can I say? The kid loves to read. I was surprised to see how many Malakim like to read. Genfu does a lot of reading too. I didn't know that. It's true. I'm not sure what he's been reading, though. Mm. Did someone call for me? Bienfu, do you like to read, too? Oh, yes. Books are a treasure trove of knowledge. But I'm a greater Malakim, so the literature I enjoy might be a bit above your level, Lapiset. How to talk a human female into becoming your vessel. And... Physically escalating with cubes. Uh. Bien? Physically escalating. What does that mean? You, you don't really need to don't know. need to know. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm confiscating all of these. And I have some questions. Bien Fu, you better be ready for a thorough interrogation. Bien! Uh. You look like you're having fun, Rokuro. Well, I'm a Yaksha. A Yaksha? A spirit of war? Yeah, a demon that lives for combat. But this Swordbreaker has cut down Exorcist with its foreign blade. Aren't you scared? Of dying, you mean? Yeah. I'm not afraid of dying. It's more that I'm afraid of not being alive. Huh? Fighting is my life. It's all I want to do. So I fight. That's what living means to me. Ah, living only to kill. A demon is always going to be a demon. Well, if you're gonna be blunt. <laughs> I don't know that. I don't get down there. Oh, this one actually should be it. Yeah. Fuck off. On the big thing. Uh, bird? Moth? What are you? You're a bird. I don't think we have a chance! Let's take down the ad. <laughs> Oh. Uh, 
I'm in danger. Can someone bring her back? Please? Oh my god, have her my level 3. Ah, shit. It was a close one. Yeah, okay, okay. Um, probably gonna be wrapping up soon anyway. Uh, shows how many unopened chests are around the map. Love it. That is extremely helpful, actually. You sure you want me for this? Ah, oh, that's so helpful. Jump over there. Shame. Shame. Sash. Oh man, the zone just keeps going. What's wrong? I guess you're the sword breaker. An enemy. Sword. Is that Storm Quell? A demon wielding a foreign made sword. You must be the sword breaker. <laughs> Not much of a conversation, are you? Silence, they say, is only commendable in an ox challenge ride and a maid not bendable. Hey. No. Okay. 
You're fine, I'm sorry. He's still moving. I'll take this one. Come and get me. You should only use that sword on your back. Sorry, I just got a little riled up. Wow. Do you know that demon? No, but I know his sword. A blade called Stormquell. Stormquell? Whatever. It doesn't have anything to do with us. Let's just get to the portal already. Uh, he looks like a halfway. What do you mean, man? Uh... Oh, cool. So some, I'm pretty sh sure, judging by like what you can see of under Rokuro's hair, um, him and that other guy are the same type of demon. And at some point in the future, that's how Rokuro's gonna look. I assume it's the implication. Lavi said, I'm sorry about what happened back there. I thought he was going to kill you. Yeah, I know. You were just doing what you thought was right. Yeah, maybe so. That's good then. I didn't give you a clear enough warning to stay out of it. If it ever happens again, I'll give you a proper warning. You really don't want me to help you? Even if your life is at risk? Yup. Why? Actually, I'm not too sure myself. Huh? There's somebody out there I need to defeat by my own hand. I want to strike him down. I want to triumph against him. But to do that, I need to be a better swordsman. Someone you have to defeat. In a sword fight, yeah. And I'll do anything to ensure I come out on top in the end. No matter how much it costs me. Life, limb, hell, even my heart and soul, I'll pay it. Those feelings have been so central to me for so long. I lost my dang humanity somewhere along the way. Why do you need to win that badly? <laughs> to be honest, beats me. Maybe it has to do with me being a demon. Or maybe that's why I became one. Either way, it's more important to me than life itself. More important than life. But still, I owe you for saving me back there. There's no victory pose in store for me if I'm dead. Uh, okay. Is that how you thank someone for saving your life? Huh? I'm just being honest with the little guy. 
And no offense and all, but why do you care? You don't even think it disrespectful? You truly are a demon. Yep. Big old demon. <sighs> yeah. Have a good look. So I'm probably going to try and like wrap up this zone and then call it a night. Whenever this zone wraps up. Ugh. Jeez. Still three chests on this map. I mean, one's here. It's a cat's chest. Yeah, get a cat's. Fuck you, trees. Fuck nature. A bunch of cat's chest doesn't even count towards it. Oh. Ah, uh, maybe it's that point, that place where I couldn't jump before. Ah, uh, that'll do it. Yeah, he wants me to come back later. I bet. Oh, speak of the devil. I'll do it for today. I know it's not been a super long stream compared to some of them, but uh, it's like 10 past 11 and I kind of just want to go to bed. <laughs> I'm really tired. So, we're going to wrap it up there. Uh, tomorrow we have more, uh, what do you call it? Suck up a loaf with Rowie, so that'll be fun. And hopefully Judas, if Judas is down for it. Go sleepy, sleepy. I will, I will have a very good sleep. Uh, how do I exit? How how I'm exit? No, oh, wait. There we go. I remember how tiles works. Anyway, good night to you all. Thank you for swinging by for this very last minute and impromptu stream. And have a good evening. Bye bye now. <laughs>